Some modifications are made to the cathode ray tube to invent the cathode ray oscilloscope CRO. The cathode ray oscilloscope is built up of three main parts. The first part which looks like the cathode ray tube but with a few changes is named the electron gun. This part produces electrons by the property of thermionic emission. The second part is the deflection system and it causes the deviation of the electrons from its normal straight line pathway according to the voltage applied to the plates. It consists of the Y plates. They are responsible for deflecting the beam of electrons vertically up and down. The other two plates are named the X plates and they are responsible for deflecting the beam horizontally left and right across the screen. The voltage on the X plate is controlled by a button on the interface. This button is referred to as the time base. The third main part of the oscilloscope is the fluorescent screen. The screen is plated from inside with a layer of a substance that is sensitive to electrons. It gives a bright spot on the position where the beam of electrons falls on the screen. In this part we will learn how to draw a label diagram of the CRO. First you must draw this shape that will indicate the vacuum tube that encloses most of the parts. Starting from the left the cathode is drawn as a basic cylindrical shape. The heater or the filament with its supply are drawn as a circuit behind the cathode. The hollow tubes are drawn to represent the anodes. Between the cathode and the anode there is a ring. This ring is known as the grid. Now the cathode and the two hollow tube anodes are connected to a high voltage DC supply about 600 volts. The negative is connected to the cathode and the positive to the anodes. Two parallel horizontal plates are drawn to represent the Y plates. Next to these plates are two parallel vertical plates to represent the X plates. And finally this is the beam of electrons. This will make a flash on the screen. This is how you will draw it in the exam. Now label the parts. All the apparatus are placed in a vacuum tube. Starting from left the labels are the heater or the filament, the cathode, the grid, the two hollow tube anodes, the high voltage DC supply and all these parts form the electron gun, the Y plates and the X plates and these will form the deflection system. The last part is the fluorescent screen. This is how you will draw and label the parts of the cathode ray oscilloscope.